Okay, in this video, I'm I'm going to uh, just explain how to do some manipulations of um, a list and uh, of a string, um, and how they can kind of be used together to uh, solve um, s solve a problem. In this case, we're looking at the 1998 uh, CCC uh, problem D lottery. I think it's before there's a junior and senior contest, so there's just a uh, problem D from 1998. And the idea is you take this um, expression here, 1,234 uh, 1, plus, uh, etc. You see it here, and you need to um, put the parenthesis in as uh, order of operations would indicate, or as bed mass would indicate. So uh, in this example, multiplication uh, is the term here. It needs it. Uh, bed mass says it has to be evaluated first, so you um, have to rewrite the expression to be this. So you'd be given some input and you have to um, manipulate it. So I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just start off by taking for the, from the sample input uh, one of the first expressions. I won't worry about the rest of the sample input. Uh, um, how how the sample input is working. We'll just focus on this part of the problem for now. So there's uh, what we'll call it, uh, we'll call it um, line, or maybe I'll call it terms. I'll call it line because it's a line of text, and it's going to be something that we're going to turn into um, a number of terms. And how are we going to do that? We're going to take line. Line. What is line? First of all, line is uh, a string, of course. Um, and string has certain methods associated with it. Um, and if the interpreter looks a little different, it's because I'm using IPython, which is a just a slightly souped up version of the interpreter. And it has tab completion. I can't remember if the other one does, but I don't think so. So if I'm doing a line dot tab, and it's showing me all the different methods that are associated with this thing because it's a string. This is a string, and because it's a string, I can call any of these math methods and uh, do things to it. And I just hit the space there to see the rest of the list. I'm interested in um, this one, line.split. So just that tab completes it's a method, so I need to put the parenthesis on. What does it do? It takes that line, which was the text line, and it splits it um, by default on white space, I believe it is. Um, and uh, and what it... So it returns a list from the string, and it uses uh, whatever is given to it um, uh, as the thing to uh, split it up on, uh, which is called the delimiter. So I didn't give it one by default, it just uh, uses white space. So what does that mean? I have a line, it's a string, I call split on it, and it ends up giving me a list back of whatever text was here split up on the, on the spaces. So it gives me a, a list with 10 in the first element, uh, a plus sign in the second element, a 20 in the third element, etc. And these are all little bits of strings now chopped up in a list. So hopefully this will be useful because we're, you know, we need to turn this uh, string into something like this in this example. We need to turn it into the, you know, the version with parentheses. And you can see in this example we want to add a parenthesis, uh, kind of opening parenthesis or left bracket in between the plus sign and the 20. So how are we going to do that? So we have another method here. Um, insert. No, sorry. Um, at first I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to do this split thing again, but I'm going to put it into a list. I'm going to call it terms. Now terms is a list. A list has other methods associated with it. Um, and for instance, sort. You can sort the list. We we don't want to do that. That's definitely going to mix things up. Insert though is something we want to use. So what? And I'm again I'm using IPython, so that's why I'm typing this in this way. I, I think this is particular to IPython. It gives me the help in this format. Maybe maybe not. You just try the question mark. What's insert? It's a built-in function. It in inserts an object before an index. So you say insert. Then you say the index where it's going to appear, and then you say, and then you give it something. 
it's saying object there. What we're just going to think about is inserting a bracket um, in between the plus sign and the 20th, so a string. So terms dot insert. And what is the index that we're going to use? Well, we're going to use um, 0. Remember that list is indexed from 0. 0, 1, 2. We want it actually to replace the 20. We want the 20 to shift over and make room for it. I shouldn't say replace it. We want it to insert here at ter uh, index uh, 2 and have the 20 move over to index 3 and the rest of the string move over. So that's 2 and it was the opening bracket I said. So hmm, no errors. So that looks like something might have worked <laughs> or, or did work. And so there's the terms and there's that bracket that was given as the object here. This said object a string and it was inserted here at this index position too. So you can see you you let's see, we'll do the other one. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. I actually wanted it inserted at the sixth element or index six I should say. Index six, it's actually the seventh element. Um, and so sometimes when we access arrays, but we use one more than one than, one, than we should, we should have a bound here, here, here that understands, understands what we mean and uh, place the, the bracket on the last, um, the last, uh, the, uh, at, at element, index number six, the seventh element. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just showing you I can actually count to seven there, but that's the seventh element at, at uh, index six. So now what are we going to do? We need to join this thing back up so we can spit it out. This is going to be our output, and it's supposed to be text. If we read this carefully, it talks about having white space in between these things. And that's the key. That's the delimiter again. Okay, so delimiter is the thing that um, uh, separates these things. Actually, I'm just noticing we're going to we're going to have a problem if this percent or this bracket and this number 20 is not supposed to have a space. I'm going to continue, but I didn't look at that closely enough to realize that maybe we're going to end up putting out the wrong thing. The, the key thing to think about is the delimiter here. We're going to join this list back up um, using a, a space character in between each of them. So this is weird. I find this totally weird. But I'm starting out with a space, and then I'm going to call a method on it. What is a space? It's a. It, it should you, hopefully you know that it's a string. It's just a string, so it has the same methods on it that the other um, string did when I started this off. Line dot. Um, and there's all the methods for string, and I'm going to use the join method, which is up here. So space dot join at least I think I am and I'm throwing in the list terms okay so that is a string we <laughs> this is very strange output equals so output we join it up from the delimiter um, and we threw in the list terms and we got this thing that is a string uh, um, and it looks like that. And that should look like our answer that was expected here, except now I realize that maybe it doesn't because there isn't supposed to be a space here between this one and this one. And that's actually not a, a real problem. There's, um, so this is, you know, this is the thing. Sometimes the starting point is to double check your list of methods associated with whatever you're working on and replace is I think the the thing we want to use here so what does out uh, replace do it returns a copy of whatever the string is that we the string dot replace that we used with um, sub string replacing replaced by new so we have a sub string here I think it's old sorry sub string old so whatever we find matching old will be replaced with new. So, oops, what does that look like? Um, 
the thing we want to replace is the space. That's the thing we want to get rid of. So what do we do? We match a parenthesis with a space with, and we replace it just with the parenthesis. Okay, so there that space in between is gone. Now this thing is a little bit weird because if we look at output, well, you have to be a little careful about this um, output is still the same f string with this, the space in it. It's just that when we called replace, it gave us an, a new string back with the space re um, uh, removed. So in a way, we could just say um, output equals this. So now we have replaced our old one with the one without the space in it. And wouldn't we just continue with the other one probably, right? So we have a space, so I'm going to be careful, the space is on the other side that we want to replace. And there I think is our answer looking pretty close to what the output was. So that's just the manipulating the thing and inserting the parenthesis in the right place. And the question now is, how do we find where we should be inserting these things? Um, we need to work on that part of the problem in another video.